Which you guys got another video here for you on Windows 10 can't find other computers on your home network. This will be your local network. So if you've got devices uh, plugged into your network and you can't visibly see them, then this video will help you resolve this issue and try to locate other computers and other devices on the network. You can see here they're not being detected. And this may be one of the first reasons that the file sharing is turned off. Some of the network computers and devices might not be visible until you enable this feature. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And what we're going to do is go through some steps here to help you try to get uh, your computers visible on the network or any device that you have on your home network. So go down to the bottom right hand corner where it says the internet icon and open uh, the network and internet settings. Inside here, you want to make sure your Ethernet is set to private network. And the reason for this is because if you don't have these set to private network, then they're not going to be able to share items on the network. So when you click on Ethernet and click on the connect icon, you will see private is set here. And this is for a network you trust, such as home or work. Your PC is discoverable and can be used for printers and file sharing if you set it up. Now, if you don't want to set it up, you can put it back to public and this means you will be hidden and uh, you won't see those uh, printers and sharing file options available. So we'll leave that on private. This has to be on every machine that you're trying to share on the network. OK, so go to status and then once you're inside here, go to sharing options and then inside here, you need to enable all of these features. Now, if you've been messing with uh, these features or during the installation process you disabled all these they won't be enabled and you need to go back in here and enable these okay so file and printer sharing so just make sure all of these are turned on you can see here we've got password protecting sharing is turned off and also public folder sharing make sure that is turned on also you can see when public folder sharing is on people on your network including home group members can access files in the public folders and that's what you want to do just make sure they're all on it makes it a lot more easier and turn off any sort of password protection and this has to be done for every computer that you want to be visible on your home network so once you've done that what we're going to do here is make a few checks on the system to make sure all the settings are okay so go down to the bottom left hand corner and type services inside the services pane you want to open this up now there's a few things in here that you want to make sure that are running and enabled. Now I know with Windows 10 a lot of people tweak it and, and make changes to the privacy settings and some of these features may be disabled or turned off. And as you can see here we've got functions, discovery, provider, host. This needs to be running. If it's disabled then you need to turn it on. If you don't turn this on you won't be able to share or see other items on the network. So I'm going to set this to automatic delay start. This means that when the PC boots up that it will delay the start and then it will start up. So I'm just going to start this now and then get this one started. Once we've done this one we want to go underneath and just do this next one here. Function discovery resource publication. Inside here we're going to do the same thing. Automatic delay start and uh, you can have this set to manual if you wanted to but I'm just going to have it on this one here and apply an OK. And once that's done we should be able to visibly see our computers and devices on our local network so click OK. Now we need to go down to SSDP discovery and this basically discovers network devices and services that use SSDP discovery protocol. Just want to make sure that that is running OK and uh, if you can see it's running already but if it's not you need to make sure that is running and it is startup type manual that's fine and the reason why I'm saying this is because sometimes people disable these and then they forget they're disabled and you may run into problems so next up we want to make sure that server is running so click on the server icon and make sure that this is running as well this is for your files and your printers and other stuff uh, that share over your network just make sure that is running now why would these be stopped or disabled? The reason why is because a lot of people do a lot of tweaking inside their services area to make Windows 10 more faster but end up causing themselves problems later down the line. So just be careful when you're disabling these 
print spooler is another one that a lot of people disable but if you've got a printer and uh, you want to use this uh, printer then obviously you're going to need to have that running so make sure that is running also and again there's a bunch of other ones in here which we can test to make sure that everything is running okay so let's go ahead and check some more of these so the next one we're going to be checking is UPnP uh, device host and you can see here allow UPnP devices to be hosted on this computer just make sure that that is not disabled because you want to make sure that it's not disabled and causing you problems moving on down we've got a few other things we can check here which is um, workstation just looking for it now there it is and just make sure that is also running and working okay okay so now they're all checked and they're running okay and everything is working fine you may need to restart your computer but we can see these are running okay so next up what you want to do is check your firewall this is another common area where firewalls can cause problems you can see that I do have a firewall on here it's called zone alarm and if you have got a firewall installed uh, and you've been uh, denying access to certain things you may find that those items will not be visible on your local network ie if you've got say for instance my cloud or any of those things and you block them they won't be visible and you won't be able to access them you'll get an error code so make sure that these are running if you are using a software firewall sometimes you have to allow these to go through and uh, make them visible trusted level must be accepted and you can see here there is some here with temp files and these are to do with uh, western digital so just make sure you check through here and make sure that you haven't blocked anything or just uh, said no to uh, otherwise it won't be visible and you may have trouble seeing those items and these have to be done on every single computer on the local network if you only do it on one computer you may find the other one will start um, not being visible or disappear okay so just make sure you do this on every single computer on that local network okay so we've checked the firewall next up we're going to do a couple of other checks to make sure everything is okay here so we're going to go to turn windows features on or off this is another area where you can check so you can just click on here and open this up now if you're using devices like Linux devices and other sorts of devices on the network as well and you might want to enable the SMB 1.0 and uh, file sharing support you can see I've got the ticks all in here and I'm going to click OK this is for client and server you can just leave the client one enabled on its own if you want to but I'm just going to put ticks in all of these and click OK this sometimes helps with getting your NAS drive visible on the network this is a pretty common one uh, so just make sure that you've got those done and then click restart now this will then restart the computer and confirm the changes that you've made on the computer now once you've restarted your computer you can go and check to see whether the items are now visible on your local network if you're using any other item like say Western Digital or anything like that you may need to install the software that comes with that hardware to make it visible as well so do check uh, those sites for software if that needs to be installed and you should now start seeing things coming visible on your local network now also as I did mention before you will need to go to other computers on your local network and make all the same changes on that computer also so you will need to uh, go to another computer and check say for instance services and make sure those services are running and make sure that you've got all your network settings set out the same on that computer as well that's how basically you're going to get uh, each computer to see all the items on the network so again you would need to go inside here and make sure these are all set and running and I'm not going to go through all of these all over again because I'll be repeating myself but just make sure that these are started as well so I'm just going to set these to start and go through the whole motions of repeating the process on all of these computers now most of the time these services will be running unless you've been tampering with them and of course disabling stuff but if you are having issues just make sure that they are all running and everything is running now one last thing I do want to check here is just make sure everything is okay on this system by checking the network settings so I'm going to go over to the right hand side here right click and go to open uh, the network settings here 
go to Ethernet here and make sure this is set to private and this will allow to be visible on the network make sure that is set there and once you've done that you can also check the other settings that I've done I just want to quickly check the network settings here make sure everything is turned on you can see this one's off file sharing and printer sharing just make sure these are all set to on and then make sure the passwords are turned off and you should be pretty much golden you should be good to go there there we go and we've all uh, done those now so I'm not going to bore you with the rest of these but basically once you've done all that you can go to your network settings here and check to see whether these are visible they should then start to be visible on the network as you can see here Anyway, that was a video request for someone on our Discord server who was having trouble with computers not being visible on his local network. So I hope that one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you've got any other problems or anything like that, you can pop on our Discord server and I'll try my best to help you out over there. Anyway, have a great day. I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.